It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other. They should still cause problems today. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabiot in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And the game begins. Rodrigo de Paul and a strong tackle Rabiot Giroud and the keeper there to deal with it Taken short. The delivery from Dembele. Well, it came to nothing in the end. The possession lost, intercepted. And support available. Good use of advantage by the referee. Messi. What a shocking pass, really. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners-up in 1930, 1990, and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina at their best. Can they reproduce that sort of form here today? I think they can. Messi! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save.
the corner courtesy of Lionel Messi and he clears the danger Alexis McAllister and with that the attack fizzles out Lionel Messi's daredevil style of attacking could well make the difference here, Stuart. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Chouameni. Upamecano. Teo Hernandez now. An astute piece of defending. Messi. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Just made sure nothing came of that. Griezmann. Aurelien Chouameni. Tremendous intuition to win it back. De Paul. And attempting the through ball. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Fired over by Messi. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Griezmann. And snuffing out the danger. Messi. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. play shows this is all about his ability to find space in the box which then makes the finish look so much easier that's good play from him and back underway 1-0 it is he's managed to lose his marker Griezmann. Griezmann. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? And the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> Favouring the short one. Really good block. spot on with that challenge take some progress with the ball at his feet but really sticking to their task defensively well as you can see Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win wonderful chance able to get his body in the way really closing him down in the perfect position to read it. Oh, could be! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! 
Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. underway determined defending Messi De Paul well that is how to nullify the opposition Teo Hernandez and intercepted it. Enzo Fernandez. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Olivier Giroud. Now Griezmann. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And the contest begins. So back underway, the ball rolling again, and France left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could pull one back here. He's blocked it. <laughs> well, opting for the short corner. The delivery from Dembele. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Giroud. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Can he put it away? Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again, and it's a wonderful pass from Dembele, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Goal. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Lionel Messi keeping the ball moving. Really vital interception. Upamecano. Lionel Messi. Can they forge ahead? Can they slot at home? Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay.
Alvarez. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. On the offensive. He has time to play it over. An alert intervention. Wonderful save there. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Giroud. Radio. And with that, the attack fizzles out. McAllister and return to Messi and he's broken free and the keeper was called upon and delivered well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again and time for the change now Delivering it. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Just wanted to get it out of there. Marcos Acuna. Interception to snuff out the danger. To jump in front. Brilliantly blocked. They got the touch on the ball. A throw in now. No possibilities in the centre. Paredes. Marcos Acuna. Good strength to keep the ball. Marcos Acuna. Still passing it around with authority. Wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. <laughs> and over comes the corner. It might still be problematic. Well, threat averted. Mbappe. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been... And pushed onto the woodwork. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. Well, maybe a chance for them now to relieve the pressure by stringing it. Oh, a vital save, and it remains all even. Well, there you have it. He may just have saved his team here. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And he's fired over the corner. A top save, and that keeps it all square. Well, you're right, Derek, a top-class save, and such an important one as well. That surely would have been it had it gone in. Yes, man. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Mbappe. Can they grab the lead late on? Good tackle, take it away. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Martinez. And that pass could be troublesome. Can he put them in front? And he clears it out of harm's way. Wonderful challenge. And a throw-in coming up. 
Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Coman. Kamavinga. Jules Kunde on the ball. Dembele. And he did well to cut it out. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? A fine reading of the situation. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Messi. Return to Martinez. Can they forge ahead? at this stage of the final a huge moment well here it is again Messi's cross really invites somebody to go and attack it and when he gets onto it he holds off the challenge keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball that's a top class finish it is who would have predicted that and there goes the final whistle for the third time in history Argentina have won the World Cup and I have to say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career. And what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.